Hi guys, yeah, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cecilizi, and today I'm going to be talking to us about five facts you need to know about coronavirus. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click the red button below right now. Subscribe, like, and don't forget to also share this video. Yeah, welcome back to my vlog. Okay, so there has been a myth about this virus because. It was reported February 28th that an Italian man came into Nigeria and he has been diagnosed <laughs> that he has this virus. Trust me guys, there is nothing to worry about except that one. Everybody's saying, I'm sure you, you, you will have been seeing everybody wearing face masks around. One person is wearing face masks. Some people are already trying to even put price on face masks, ordinary face masks. But trust me, face masks are not that useful. Yes, you heard it from me first. Face masks are not that useful. And the reason is because, one, face masks, are, they don't cover the eyes. They cover just the mouth. And it won't even stay for long because you can't wear face masks for money tonight because one, it's going, you are going to sweat. Two, it's going to be dirty and everything. And you are running from death. So, and I'm sure a lot of people are already thinking face masks is the cure and everything. Yeah, it's good for you to protect yourself from everything, but trust me, the first thing for you to know is that face masks doesn't work like that. And things that you need to do around using face masks is you wash your hands with soap and sanitizer. Make sure that when you touch anything, you wash your hand immediately with either soap or sanitizer. When you also want to sneeze, when you want to sneeze, or you have anybody sneezing around you make sure you use a tissue paper and when you finish sneezing with it put it in a bin immediately and wash your hand I'm, I'm sure that a lot of you wouldn't have time to do all these things but trust me this is how to prevent yourself from getting this virus or getting close to anyone that has this virus and also note that if you have anybody that is sneezing around you one meter is how you should actually stay away from the person. It's not you trying to segregate yourself from the person, but trust me, everybody needs to stay alarmed and conscious about this virus. The second thing you need to know is that this virus can't be gotten from animal, from any animal, trust me. It is not like the Ebola or other viruses, Lassa fever and everything. Coronavirus can be gotten from dogs or cats or any animal. Doesn't mean that they, I'm, I'm very sure because even what um, World Organization who they said it can be gotten from any animal, so there is nothing to fear. Eh? Because I can hear some people saying ah, they want to go and keep their dogs in their vet place. They need to go and do this, do that to their dog or their cat and everything. But trust me, we need to be calm and listen to the right information about this virus, so we don't just put ourselves in unnecessary alarm. The third thing for you to know about this coronavirus is that you can continue to eat Chinese food and you will not contact coronavirus. Because I heard some people saying that ah, they won't eat Chinese food again, they won't do this again, they won't relate to Chinese again. Nobody is saying you need to stay with Chinese. And the truth is that I realized that we are actually looking at just Chinese people. We thought they are the only ones that have this virus. But imagine now, Italian people, an Italian person like nobody can ever think of it that ah, maybe Italian or no Italian but trust me you can continue to eat Chinese food the Chinese food doesn't have coronavirus Chinese food in Nigeria I'm not talking about Chinese food in China or any other country but trust me the ones in Nigeria they don't have coronavirus they are safe to be eating and, and everything the first thing you need to know about coronavirus is that the virus is contagious before the symptoms appear i'm sure a lot of you would actually feel like okay what she's saying or what does that even mean you know when you contact this virus you would not know that you have the virus immediately the symptoms is going to come later symptoms like having headache having flu coughing and every other things that come after it they are going to come later but trust me you're going to have the virus first it's not like lassa fever that immediately you contact it you start they, you, like you would actually see the person if you've actually seen a case like a um, lassa fever case with cases before you will know that once you contact it you're not escaping it it's going to start showing in your body immediately that you have lassa fever every patient are going to but coronavirus 
you have it in your body like this, it's going to be there for maybe 28 days. Before you now start seeing that, okay, you're coughing, you have flu, and every other thing. Okay, so the last thing you need to know about coronavirus is that report every or any strange illness around you to the nearest hospital. And don't forget to keep yourself safe by using a original sanitizer and don't just forget yourself using face masks alone make sure you wash your hands keep yourself clean safe hygiene and safe <laughs> don't forget to like my video comment share and also click that red button below right now subscribe to my video and also please share this information to your friends family and foe thank you very much for watching don't forget to join me next time bye